You know, there's another statement that a lot of uh, post tribbers come up with. They say, they always have these little arguments, you know, and they say, well, is there going to be, you know, if the rapture happens, then that would be actually Christ's second coming, and then at the end of the tribulation, that would have to be his third coming. You know, oh, we got you there. Uh, no, actually, you don't. Because I want to show you here, Acts chapter 1, verses 9 through 11 says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, now look at this, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So, Jesus Christ is going to come back as he went up. Now, did Jesus Christ go up one time or two times? See, because many people are just saying, well, Jesus just comes back at the end of the time of Jacob's trouble. There's no secret rapture. But uh, was this has to line up then with how he ascended the first time. So, my question is, did Jesus Christ only go up once here in Acts chapter 1? Or was there another time that he went up? John chapter 20, verse 11. Let's read here. But Mary stood without at the sepulcher, weeping, and as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the sepulcher, and seeth two angels in white, sitting, the one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. And they say unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? She saith unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. And when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing, and knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She, supposing him to be the gardener, saith unto him, Sir, if thou have borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus saith unto her, Mary. She turned herself, and saith unto him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master. Jesus saith unto her, Now look at this, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father, but go to my brethren, and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and that he had spoken these things unto her. Very interesting. So did Jesus go up before Acts chapter 1? Yes. Did everybody know about it? No. Only a woman knew about his first ascension. Huh. You see, only a woman is going to know, truly know, about the first time that Jesus comes back. Why? Because the woman, the bride of Christ, goes up. And a lot of people down here, the Jews, you know, they're not going to understand it. They're not going to understand that it was the first sign there. The, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come, so come in like manner as ye have seen him go. See? Jesus went up in a cloud. And, but before he went up, there in Acts chapter 1, he had already gone up and ascended up to the Lord. And he, you know, he said about, a, you know, touch me not for I am not yet ascended to my Father. But when he comes back down, you see him again, everybody's touching him. He's saying, you know, behold my hands and my feet. Touch me and see. Touch, touch, touch. See? So he had to have gone up and come back down. But it was a secret. His first ascension, only a woman knew about it. In like manner, the rapture is going to be only known about the body of Christ, the bride of Christ. The second coming will be seen by everybody. Why? Because at the rapture, we go up and we meet him in the clouds. Every eye is not going to see Jesus Christ at the rapture. But at the second coming, everybody's going to see him then. Including the Jews, for whom he'll come back for. Okay? He's going to come back to defeat the armies of the Antichrist and to set up his kingdom in Jerusalem. Very interesting. So, is there a second and a third coming of Jesus Christ? Well, no, not technically. But the fact of the matter is, Jesus is going to come back at the rapture, secretly, and only the church is going to know about it. And at the second coming, the whole world's going to see it. Very interesting. Mm -hmm.